Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. Sorry for the delay between this and the last episode. I'm a cancer, so I've been in my feelings. Fight me. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to do a real last episode on for Mother's Day, but life happens, so I'm doing this mini episode instead. Just an informational for those who may not have put thought into it. Um, I don't want to feel like it's like supposed to be something negative. It's just basically me expressing something that I realized that other people don't necessarily think about. So I made a post on Mother's Day asking about your relationship with your mother. And the responses I got were both saddening and very warming. They were all over the place, really. I got everything from, you know, we're best friends to, oh, my God. You know, I wish you were better. We don't speak like it was all over the place. You know, we're OK. Mother and daughter, all types of shit. So I I realized that, you know, what I'm saying it's not something that I realized. I've always known this because, I mean, there's so many instances. You see things on TV, you see people's relationship, you hear stories. But um, I just feel like. I I really wanted to do like a really in-depth episode and talk to a couple of people about like, you know, their relationships with their mom and just to get like different perspectives. And I'm probably going to end up doing that later on anyways, like just have like a quick little panel or even like a real whole show just basically talking about like, you know, motherhood and being a child and especially from a Caribbean standpoint also, because I do know that those relationships can go from zero to like a million because (laughs) Caribbean people just, you know, we, we, kind of harsh sometimes so you know saying depends on how you receive and how you give things it could be different but anyways like based on those responses you know I was just like damn like there's no like this is a general thing you get me like there's so many different like ways to look at mother child relationship like not even just daughters sons too so it's like I did that and like there are responses that I got you know dms about and you know i'm saying i've some people like you know actually responded as a couple y'all responded on the actual post but as a daughter who has an estranged relationship with her mother as a mother who has lost a child as a granddaughter whose grandmother recently passed mother's day isn't the best of days for a lot of people i'm sensitive to that fact and I love seeing all the mothers being celebrated and you know you bigging up your mom your grandmothers aunts and everybody but I do not, and I make sure I did not, since I work Mother's Day morning, like, I didn't openly wish every woman a happy Mother's Day. Like, my cashier, like, every woman that seemed like, you know, she might have kids or she had a child with her, she was like, oh, happy Mother's Day, you know, and it was all received well and light, but that's something that I'm very conscious of because, like, if you know a woman who's lost a child for future references, make sure it's something that's welcomed by them, like, before you wish them a happy Mother's Day because I know people who, like, had miscarriages or something of the sort and people still wish them a happy Mother's Day and it's not ill-intended but it's not something that they personally are like okay obviously it's mother's day whatever but they're not thinking about that like they purposely try to block it out you get me like it's something that they don't necessarily want to deal with in the present so they just it's just another day to them so you wishing that to them is bringing it to light and it's kind of like damn you had to remind me that (laughs) i was you know what i'm saying like it's one of those type of things so it's however they lost a child, be it via miscarriage, an unwanted abortion, abortion they wanted but later regret, a stillborn baby, or any other fatality after birth, or even kidnapping, or even a mother who does not have custody of her children for whatever reason it is. And I also saw someone made a post about that and was like, do you wish a mother happy Mother's Day who doesn't have custody of her children? And it's like, why doesn't she have custody of her children? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's... <laughs> You never know with these situations. And that post, I don't know if that was intended to be funny, but that's a real ass situation. That's a real question. So, you know what I'm saying? It's it's not always well received. So wishing a mother who has lost a child happy Mother's Day is not always received well, like I just said. So, you know, just make sure it's something that they welcome before you start wishing them a happy Mother's Day or happy something that isn't necessarily happy for them. And if you know people who have strange relationships with, like, their mothers or grandparents, don't ask them what they, oh, what'd you get your mom and your grandma for Mother's Day? Like, 
make sure that you know their state of mind before you like bring these questions to them because it's probably not something they really want to deal with in that moment because like i said like you it's it's a good day like in a general scheme of things, it's a day of celebration. Granted, you should celebrate your mother every day, but it's like one day that you they know, hey, y'all better get me something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all better come through with this or whatever. And it's well wishes, but still, like, be mindful that things happen. Like, like I said, though, I worked on Mother's Day, and, like, when I said I was dying, like, they had... <laughs> it made me think of... There's this comedy sketch... And I forgot, if, I don't remember who said it. I just remember the, the context of the sketch. It was just like, you know, Mother's Day comes around and you see people buying these $10 cards and whatever, whatever. And then when Father's Day comes around, they're trying to find the cheapest cards because Mother's Day, they buy the card with no question. Like, it's just automatic. Like, okay, um, it's Mother's Day. Oh, card's $15? Sure. You know, but Father's Day come around, it's like three forty five. dollars Nah, I didn't got no $4. <laughs> and... It's it's funny, but it's sad at the same time. And it's not always true because some people have better relationship with one parent than the other. And it's not always, you know, oh, let me find the cheapest card. Because I'm one of those people, like, I'm sentimental. So if I'm shopping for a card for either my mom or my dad, like, I'm in the aisle reading. Like, whether it costs $5 or $10 or a penny, like, I'm reading the card the whole way through. And I'm just like... Mm, does this relate to our relationship like I'm one of those people like I'm making sure it relates because in an essence I prefer to like have things mean something to the person like I don't want to just get your car says happy mother's day you've been great <laughs> you know what I'm saying like granted that may be true but if we talk about you know what I'm saying yo we done been through some shit <laughs> you know so that's just my take on it like like I said it's some true for some but it's not true for everybody um on another note, if you are experiencing grief to any of the categories I've mentioned, please know that there are therapy options available for each of them. Like, each category, there's therapy. Like, seriously, honestly, if you simply just go online, stillborn therapy, like, if you suffered from, you know, your baby passed away, like, shortly after birth, stillbirth, um, abortions anonymous, that is a real thing, miscarriage therapy, like, etc. Like, some people blame themselves for miscarriages. And, you know, whether it's something that happened and you didn't realize you were pregnant or you did realize and you feel like you did something like it's not it's not your fault. <laughs> it's really not. Things happen. So, I mean, people blame themselves for a lot of things and people battle with a lot, of things, especially like being pregnant. Like that's a whole like other portion of yourself that is created and not having it continue on like that affects people some people don't get affected by it as much some people you know what i'm saying they chalk it up to whether they're religious and they feel like you know god had a better plan for me and it wasn't the right time or something of the sort whatever the case is different people d deal with things differently if you're one of those people who you are not dealing with it well there's there's options and a lot of therapists are now available for video chat and texting so you don't even have to go sit on their couch you can do it in the comfort of your own home in your pajamas while eating ice cream or whatever it is you do that makes you feel most comfortable and at ease so if you need someone to talk to my inbox is open but i am in no way <laughs> no way licensed or qualified and I'm definitely not professional and i'll i'm horrible I'll probably try to make you laugh about a situation that's not funny because that's that's the that person I am. It's it's horrible. I know it is. And I probably should go to therapy for it. But yeah, just talk to somebody. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically the essence of this. Like if you know somebody that's been through some shit, like as far as motherhood goes and you know that they were pregnant and they don't have a child a living child you know after the fact whatever the case is if you know somebody well enough to know their situation make sure that it's something that they will receive well some people are okay with being wished happy mother's day because they felt like they went through the stages of becoming a mother like the minute you get pregnant in some eyes you are a mother you get me it doesn't have to wait until you push out that child that child comes out of you that's not when motherhood starts like because when the child is within you like you're still caring for them you're still making sure they eat like you know what i'm saying like they're living off of you and your functions you're still mothering that child so it's just it's one of those things you know what i'm saying like just be mindful and make sure that the person is 
open to receiving these greetings before you just throw it on them. You get me? Like, because I know, like, like I said, I know people who have said Happy Mother's Day to people who they know have had a miscarriage or who they know have had an abortion or who they've known had a stillborn. And it's like they woke up that morning, they didn't realize what it was. And then you're like, oh, hey, Happy Mother's Day. And it's like, Thanks for reminding me about that right now. Maybe I wasn't going to think about this till about 7 o'clock in the afternoon, <laughs> you know? So it's just, that's all. But with that being said, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow Pointless Talks on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, Apple Music, Google Play Music, we lit, Player FM, <laughs> the list I grew up. So, you know what I'm saying? I drop the podcast portion of the title so it's easier for you guys to search it, um, all you got to type in the search fields for any of these platforms is just simply pointless talks. It's pointless with three S's, emphasize the less, P-O-I-N-T-L-E-S-S-S, talks. If you like us, rate us and give us five stars. Keep on a bad mind feeling to yourself. And as usual, if you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. <laughs>